Hello and welcome to EasyOdds.com and we've got our man back in the hot seat. Jake Johns is back from Glastonbury. He's had an excellent Royal Ascot, so let's run through a few of his wins there. He had Teppin at 10-1 to 1 in the Queen Anne Stakes, yep. which is incredible. That was the first one. And then you doubled it yeah. with a 20 to 1 shot of um, Brave Anna in the Albany Stakes. Yeah, that was decent as well. They were two really good. I, I tipped Teppin. That was probably the, the best one because it was the first race of the meeting. I tipped him so, uh, so long ago in April. Brave Anna was good as well, but uh, it's kind of like, yeah, she's quite, she should be waiting because it was second string AP at Brighton, so I just thought she's going to be a big, she's too big a price. So, you know, it was good. I, had, I think Absolutely. I had about 10, uh, about 12 winners as well, 12 winning Sounds tips. Sounds good to me. So that's 12 winners in Royal Ascot, but let's move on from the past into the future, just like Back to the Future. Exactly. And it's the Coral Eclipse at Sandown on Saturday, mm -hmm. and our man Jake Johns has a piece on site which you can view via the easyodds.com site, via mobile or by app, or of course still on desktop if you're still in the past. <laughs> um, but let's move forward to the video version now where Jake's going to run through the runners and the riders, and let's have a listen to who you think will win the Eclipse, Jake. Okay, yeah, so it's a group one, officially. It's, it's all right, actually. There's pretty good races here. There's a few pretty uh, unexposed ones in there that um, could do quite well. Uh, last year, won by Golden Horn, who obviously went on to win the Ark um, pretty impressively as well. Really short price, though. Um, this year, slightly less, uh, slightly bigger price, but I think anyway, okay. I'm pretty sure uh, yeah. Golden Horn was odds on. I'm sure, I'm sure he was. Uh, but anyway, this time we've got the Gurkha, uh, trained by A.P. O'Brien. Been absolutely hammered all week. Absolutely hammered. I think you could get two to one. I was at Glastonbury when all this. I didn't really know what was going on in the horse racing world yeah. then. I was kind of just knee deep in mud. No idea mud. what. No idea what I was doing. Couldn't really move. Um, but yeah, the Gurkha has been hammered. Now evens. Um, been well, it was given a pretty uncharacteristically oddish ride by Ryan Moore um, in St James's Palace Stakes. Uh, missed the break. Uh, had to uh, go back. Go to the back. Really, really free. Pretty slow pacer. Led by Galileo Gold and Frankie de Tori. Um, uh, met a bit of trouble with the, on the running as well, but managed to squeeze okay. through past Altard. Uh, finished second, staying on all the time at the finish. Uh, quite, quite, quite a good rate, uh, run considering the slow pace and uh, all the things he had to get through. Um, but yeah, de Tori stole the race from the front on Galileo Gold. Uh, which he was never going to get there. Um, and yeah, on another day he might have won. I mean, he, it's not. It's not. I wouldn't say it was absolutely like some people were saying. It was absolutely certain. He has no way that he would have lost that race uh, if he was given a better ride or if it was uh, Frankie yeah. Dory wasn't so brilliant because he's obviously amazing at Ascot. Um, I think Ortar was had a bit of a, a bit of a trouble passage as well. He was it was a bit too far back, delivered a bit too late. I thought, um, and definitely not the type of race for him either. Uh, he wanted a bit of a faster pace than that. And yeah, I, I, I mean, he might have won. But I think any, any, all of, any of the three could have won. I mean, Galileo Gold was good. I thought. I thought. I don't know if it's absolute certainty that they would have got past him in any circumstances. Um, yeah. But yeah. So you're gonna stay away from. I'm gonna stay with him just be, just because he's evens. Okay. Um, yeah, and that's, that's just a little bit too short. He could obviously could easily win. Really, really impressive in the French Guineas. Don't know what he beat, but don't know. But yeah, okay. he, but evens is too short for me. What I like is the second favorite, current second favorite. My dream boat, trained by Clive Cox, who's having a dream season. Okay, nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually my part of the video. Yeah. I feel a bit sad that, that, uh, that you've taken my phone. Nice, good joke. Nice <laughs> joke. Just to... Anyway, yeah, Clive Cox having a really good season. Uh, he had Profitable, who uh, has obviously unbelievably um, improved from last year to this year. Exactly the same as my dream boat. Um, it's really similar profiles, actually, really, really. Obviously, my Profitable is a sprinter, and my dream boat is a kind of not spread out, a mile, a mile, a quarter, a mile horse, um, but yeah, improved well, beyond recognition, exactly the same uh, this season, uh, uh, one, uh, I think it's four of the last five, uh, culminated last time in the Prince of Wales stakes where he won that, uh, really impressively, ahead of Found and Ashin Hakari, completely bombed out at one to two, okay. after just doing absolutely demolishing them in France the time before. Um, Impressively, I mean, there was no excuses. I would say. I mean, Found probably wanted it a little bit faster. Uh, some people were saying it's his perfect conditions, but I think she needs it pretty fast. Um, but yeah, it was it was I mean, it was impressive. And then um, when I, I mean, when it happened, I thought, how has he won? How has he won? I didn't even consider. I can looked at it, but I didn't really consider. But I wish I did because when I looked back at the pre-dispan, it's a uh, race in Shanti. Um, 
he had absolutely terrible run for you. If you thought the Gurkha had a bad run, um, then you need to re-watch that race because it's ridiculous. I mean, he, he, he came around the bend going quite well under uh, Gerald Mosse, um, and then at the top of the straight, he got absolutely battered, and then uh, Gerald Mosse did well to stay on, stay on. He was pretty much fallen off <laughs> yeah. at that point. And then, uh, yeah, he, he, got, he, got, he got met in way more, even more trouble on the run in. The race was done because uh, Ashin Akari was just absolutely bolted clear. But he stayed on really eye-catching it in the final couple of furlongs, last furlong. Incredibly eye-catching, in fact. If I watched that race, I probably would have put a little bit each way on. Okay. Like, I did watch that race, but I just forgot about it. I, just, I, just, I was just so in awe of Ashin Akari. Like, how, who is this Japanese yeah. just monster just destroying everything? But, um, yeah, he, uh, he was impressive. Very impressive on that day. And he's also won here. Sandown's a pretty weird track, and uh, there's horses for courses is kind of... Appropriate to stand down sometimes. There's a few courses. I mean, yeah. like West and him, who's in this as well, currently around 16 to 1. I wouldn't put anyone uh, backing him each way because I could see him running into a place. Um, he beat West and him uh, here at the start of the season and in his first run. Obviously, okay. he's improved a lot since then. I can't see West and him reversing the form, but I can see West and him running into a place maybe. Uh, it might be an even bigger price uh, on the day. Um, but yeah, I can't see him reversing, so that's why I still like my dream. But obviously, to beat him, I've got to beat all of them. Um, but is well put in his place by my dreamboat. And then he has Adam Kirby on board as well, who's the man of the moment. He had an unbelievable Royal Ascot. Uh, I think it might have three winners. Uh, became a dad like, a couple of hours before. <laughs> yeah. His uh, King Stand went on profitable. That I was... saw his rather uh, tearful interview after. Yeah. That was, uh, that was a nice moment. It was a nice moment. It was kind of strange. <laughs> just had a baby and just like immediately stopped <laughs> yeah. riding the horse. But... However, um, yeah, I think I think he's got a huge chance. My dream, but I really, really like him. Currently four to one. Um, I think that's only with Stan James at the moment, but you might be able to find it somewhere else in the day. Because I think the boys that uh, got are going to absolutely hammer this. Uh, hammer this the Gurkha, like they always do just before the race or on yeah. the day. Um, so you might be able to get a bit bigger. But yeah, I like I like four to one. I'll, I'll, I'll be taking that now. Um, if it was fast ground, I'd be all over time test. And it, the forecast isn't that bad. There's a bit more rain to come, I think, but okay. not that much. It's currently soft, um, which will be perfect for uh, my dream boat as well. Uh, absolutely perfect. I mean, good to soft would also be fine. But time test, I wouldn't be going anywhere near him unless it was good ground at least. I mean, okay. if it was good to firm ground, if, it, if it, it's not going to be good to firm ground, but if, 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 if it was, I would be all over time test. I think he'd win yeah. if it was good to firm ground. Um, yeah, he's a, he just needs good firm ground. That's it. Like he needs he needs fast ground. That's just how it goes. <laughs> sometimes, um, but yeah, four to one, my dream boat. That's my bet for this. So there's your tip for the coral eclipse. Don't forget that if you want even more information about the race, then then don't hesitate to visit easyoz.com and and read Jake Johns's full preview. Um, and don't also forget with my easy odds hat on that um, Jake mentioned there about a race run in France um, where you highlighted some um, some decent form and a way that my dream boat ran in that race yeah. if you have the horse alert system and you and you um, watch that race you can easily then go into your horse alerts and, and, and make a quick note in your horse alert stable on on that run and that mm. will help you choose your winner for a future race so don't forget to use that horse alert service with easyoz.com because it can be the difference between winning and losing your tip i wish i'd done that absolutely so thanks very much for watching i've been ross casey this is jake johns don't forget to hit the the, the watermark at the bottom of the screen there to subscribe to our weekly and daily tips and thanks very much for watching it's jake johns and remember my dream boat four to one coral eclipse at stand down bye